Welcome to this video on how to migrate your Radio DJ 182 over to Radio DJ version 2. Um, I've tried different things, different ways, and I've looked in the forums and I looked on YouTube and I just really couldn't find nobody to give me just a simplified foolproof way of doing this. So I came up with my own way to do it. And here's how we're going to do it. All right. As you can see, I've already have a photo of radio DJ one eight two and a photo of radio DJ version two. I've already installed version two and one eight two is, um, is an already running version. This is the version that I use to do tutorials on and to really learn radio DJ. And as you can see, it's got the, um, it's got the radio DJ encoders. Okay. There's all the stuff that's in there. And it also has, um, a plugin called the DSP plugin or, or VST, I should say VST plugin that allows you to use VSTs. Um, as you're going to see in version two, none of that works anymore. Okay. So let's close out of that. Now I'm going to use this version two um, as our um, version. All right. So let's open up version version two. I think I've cleared it out. If not, I'm going to have to clear it out. Let's see what we get here. This is version two. Now what you're going to learn is when you're updating from one eight two to version two, in the um the, in the older versions, what you would do, you was you would actually update the installation folder that your previous one was in. Well, this doesn't work on this on this um version the same way. With Radio Version Two, Radio DJ Version Two, you're actually going to have to go ahead and install Radio Version Two in a different folder, and you're going to have to migrate everything in version one eight two over to version two. Now I've already done the migration, but we're going to start this from scratch. We're going to start from scratch. I did the, the migration to test it. Um, but we're going to do this from the, we're going to start from scratch. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the database setup. I'm in version two. Okay. I'm going to go to the database setup. We're going to create a brand new empty, um, database. So this is set on one eight radio DJ one eight two T for T for test. So I'm going to change that T to new. I'm going to rename it, click validate. Now when I click validate, it's going to tell me that this database does not exist. And that's cool. That's what I want because I want to install a brand new, um, database. Now, you're going to notice up here, I have one twenty seven zero zero one three three zero seven. That's because my system, the, the real system that's running is already using 3306. So I had to use 3307 for my test system. So I'm going to install this brand new database. And all I did was rename the database that allows me to install a brand new, new database. And again, this is version two. Okay. Import completed. I click. Okay. When you do the installer, I think it'll go through that already, but because I want to start new with nothing in it. Um, so I can show you this. I went ahead and did it new. So I'm going, I'm still in version two. All right. So I'm going to double click on this. So that you can see that there's nothing in this version on version two It's completely empty. There's no songs, no events, no rotations, nothing. Uh, it currently says there's no rotation set. So radio DJs cannot generate a playlist. We know that because this is a brand new thing, but now it's, it's wanting me to create something. So I'll just throw some things. I'll just throw that in there and hit save just to get the program up and running. Okay. So the program is, is up and running. As you can see, there's nothing, there's no music. Um, there are no events. Um, there are no rotations except, well, except for the one I just created in order for it to run. Uh, but it has nothing to load into it. Okay. I wanted to show you that way. So you, so you can see, you know, we can do this from scratch. All, all you see on here is I have my personal P PNG logo file in there. 
All right, so we're going to close out of that. We have this radio DJ version 182. This test version doesn't have a lot of stuff in it, just a few things. I want to test this on my currently running production system. I want to see if all of my programs, my events, my categories, because I've we're talking about two years worth of work. OK, I want to see if this stuff translated over. So what I did was on my main production computer, I did a backup. OK. So this is the backup. I'm going to copy this and we're going to go back over into this radio DJ folder. I'm just going to paste that in there. OK. Now, here's what I'm going to do. Whether or not this is a test version or, or if it's your um, production version, please follow me. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to my currently running 182. Okay. And I'm going to go to the setup folder to the database setup. Now, I don't want to destroy or mess up my production. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new database. All right. So I'm going to rename this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rename it radio DJ V2. Uh, migrate or something. Okay. Because this is the database that I'm going to use to update version two without disturbing my current version. All right. So if I hit validate, it's going to tell me the database does not exist. That's what I want. Okay. So this radio DJ V2 migrate, I'm going to install this database. Okay. Now that the database has been installed, I'm going to exit out of this. No, before I exit out of this, I'm going to do the restore. I'm still on this database. Okay. I'm going to do the restore database. And I'm going to grab the, the backup from my running production radio DJ version 182. I'm going to grab that and I'm going to open that. It says, are you sure you want to restore? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm going to restore it to this brand new database that has nothing in it. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to go through the process. OK, so now it is done. Now, while I'm in here, I, uh, see if I can remember this, I think it's Radio DJ 182. I'm going to change this back because this is my 182. Um, this one is my 182 uh, testing system. So now that I've created a brand new database and I've uploaded or restored the database from my fully functional production computer that's been running for two years, trust me, you don't want to do all this work over again. So now I'm going to go into radio the radio DJ V2 folder. And in that folder, I'm going to go to the setup folder and I'm going to run the database setup utility. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to put in the name of that brand new database we created and imported our main production system into, which was radio DJ V2 migrate. I don't remember if I capitalized, yeah, I capitalized the M on the migrate. All right. So let's validate and see if that's there. It's there. Okay. Now I'm still in version two setup, database setup. But I'm pointing it to that brand new 
um, database that we just imported our production database into. Now I'm ready to update this database, this brand new database, so that it will run on version two. So I'm gonna click on database utilities. Make sure you know you got the same name uh, of the new database. Make sure you validate it. Now I'm gonna click on database utilities. From there, I wanna update the database. So I'm gonna click on select update file. Now it automatically kind of goes right into the version to set up SQL. It, it automatically goes there. If it doesn't just browse over to radio DJ version two set up folder, then the SQL folder and look for the one that says one, eight, two to two SQL. I'm going to select that one. I'm going to open that. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to update the database? Yes. Okay. And I like to go on this page because this page right here has the, information. Okay. It tells me the import was completed. All right. So now I'm going to back out one step. I'm still in radio uh, DJ version two. Now let's run it. And the files for this is on another computer down the hall. But what I wanted to see and wanted to make sure before I do anything was to make sure I'm porting over all of the songs. Now they're not going to play. I'm going to make sure to turn it off. They're not going to play because they're actually located on another system somewhere else. Okay. But I wanted to make sure all of the songs are in there. There's 13,000 files in there. I wanted to make sure all of them showed up. I also wanted to make sure my instant players, I do have one group, a simple group for the weekend. Now, the reason why you don't see file names in there is because those files don't exist on this computer system. Then under my manual events, I think I got, uh, what was it? Uh, request event. No. Caller's request. All right. I wanted to make sure all of this stuff was working so that when I do make the transition, I know everything is there. My next thing was my events. I mean, two years worth of work. I got a ton of events. Okay. I have a ton of events. Let me check my categories. Okay. I got my Christmas categories, bumpers, Christmas week, one, two, three, all. So I'm seeing everything that is on my production computer has, has trans translated itself over to version two. And so I'm, I'm confident now that um, if I run this, that everything will be okay. Let's check rotations. Okay, so I'm going to click. This is version two, so you get to the rotations a little different. All right, let's see. That, okay, there go all of my rotations. Okay. They all transferred over. Now, I understand that even though these transferred over, they don't run. And uh, from what I understand, there are two ways you can get this to work. Number one, um, looking at these, just rebuild it, resave it. Then someone said, if you, and see, I haven't switched completely over yet. This is why I, I, I can't really test it, but I wanted to make sure everything as far as the database came over, they said, if you edit, click on the edit and hit okay, that that will fix that line. If you go to the next line and hit edit and okay, you know, that that will fix those lines. Um, I won't know that until I make the transition and then click save and then boom, that'll, that'll fix all of your rotations. And as you can see, I got quite a few rotations. All right. What about the now I'm playing info? Let's see. We said the categories. I think the categories, there's my categories. So they, everything is there. Everything is there. Um, now plugins, the new version will only do the plugins that, that can come with this. Uh, the encoder plugin is not available yet. The VST plugin does not work. The DSP plugin does not work. So there's quite a few things I'm going to be missing. 
Uh, the now playing info. Let's see. The web export. Okay, now the web export is a little different. You may have to reset this up because it's completely rewritten. So you may have to um, reset your web export. Same with the network. If you're using a network when you're triggering something on your network, you may have to reset that up. Um, and it may be the same with the serial. The file you know, export info, yeah, of course, you're going to have to redo that. So this section right here, you may have to redo. Uh-oh. Let's pause. Pause that, please. Okay, I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Um, boom, boom, boom. And that's it. So it does work if you go through the steps the way that I go through it. Now, if you're wondering how, you know, I got my song detail. I have my auxiliary players over here. I wanted more real estate over here. I might even move this TTS over here just to have more real estate for the, my song list. But I hope this has helped you understand and properly um, go through and migrate from 1.8.2 to 2.0. Because like I said, I saw a lot of stuff that was kind of confusing and was missing a lot of stuff. So um, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to start adding videos on version 2 and even version 1.8.2. Um, I do have a website, how to use radio DJ. Dot com it's free to it's free to sign up free to join um these videos will also be in there as well hope this has helped